Uggiano la Chiesa is situated on the Levantan side of southern Salento and since 2004 it has been part of the union of towns named Terra d'Oriente, together with Otranto, Giordignano, Foggiardo and Muro Leccese. In recent years the community of Uggiano has supported different initiatives on a national and international level, focused on cooperation among Mediterranean people. In fact, the town is part of the renowned circuit Città per la Pace, promoted by the national coordination of local communities for peace and human rights. In the area of Giano, tourism is growing with increased professionalism, a fact particularly driven by the work of many family-based estates and farmhouses, focused on the promotion of biodiversity and typical local products. Recently, different farms have been restored and transformed into tourist accommodations, today able to combine tradition with innovation. The presence of visitors and vacationers is justified by the genuine beauty of the landscape of Giano la Chiesa, characterized by the magnificent countryside that surrounds the town. A very ancient human presence in the territory is suggested by the presence of the Menhir San Giovanni Malcantone, among the tallest megalithic architectures of the province of Lecce. The megalith is located near the farmhouse of the same name, a structure abandoned in the Middle Ages, along a paved road dating to the Roman Age, probably once connected to the Via Traiana Calabra. The olive trees play a leading role in shaping the beauty of this natural landscape and their majestic shapes display the vitality of the agricultural economy, which for centuries has been characterized by olive oil and grain production. The large agricultural lands are characterized by traditional rural buildings and the countryside is marked by the presence of dry stone walls and by the ancient paiare crude stone shelters, typical of the Salentinian landscape. The olive oil industry in Uggiano la Chiesa is very present and active. It is no accident that the town is part of the National Association Città dell'Olio, an organization which deals with the protection and promotion of Italian extra virgin olive oil. The culinary traditions of this agricultural and pastoral society combined with the religious heritage, visible in Uggiano every spring with the tables of St. Joseph. On the 18th and 19th of March, on the feast day of St. Joseph, the community prepares sumptuous tables open to the public, laden with typical local products and ancient Salentinian flavors. The history of the community of Uggiano is full of charm and a thousand-year synthesis of the European cultures, which are gathered over the centuries in the Salentinian territory. During the Aragonese domination, the territory of Uggiano was conceded as a fiefdom to the ecclesiastical land of Otranto, hence its name Uggiano Ecclesia, namely Uggiano della Chiesa. Over the centuries, the historic centre of the town has evolved structurally, and many of the buildings present here date back, except in a few cases, to the 17th-18th century. The ancient village is built around the spectacular square dedicated to Umberto I, 
where the main church dominates a large part of the architectural landscape. The square has represented the 4th centuries, the heart of the social, economic, religious interactions of the town, as witnessed by its ancient architectural styles and tombs, which emerge during the recent work of urban redevelopment. The Tower of the Angel, an ancient fortress transformed into a noble residence between the 18th and 19th century, was most likely a military structure. The view from the balconies and the Ashlar portal are very typical, and the precious corner column, dating back to 1713, with its grades and curves, lightens the solemnity and austerity of the structure. There are many fortified residences in Uggiano, because of the threats coming from the nearby coast and the weighty memories of the terrible events of the conquest by the Turks in 1480. An example is the palace facing the main church, which still preserves some tangible military characteristics, such as the brackets and the machiculation. On the streets of Uggiano, one meets good examples of courtyard houses, an architectural style typical of the Salentino social housing. Some of these buildings still preserve elements of fortification, such as brackets or machiculations utilized in the defense of the structures. It is not difficult to also find decorative elements the heritage of the artistic but also religious tradition of the society of Uggiano. The parish church dedicated to St. Mary Magdalene stands out in Umberto Primo Square. It is among the most representative expressions of the 18th century architecture of South Salento. Next to the building, one admires the 19th century clock tower with its ancient sundial. The interior of the structure presents a Latin cross plan with three naves. Rich stuccos realized in Salentinian Rococo style branch out from the top of the church. The central nave presents different canvases by Oronzo Tiso, which celebrate events from the life of Mary Magdalene. Noteworthy is the altar dedicated to the titular saint, positioned on the transept and expertly carved in the 18th century. At the center, Mary Magdalene is reproduced in a delicious wooden sculpture, influenced by the Neapolitan school. The wooden tabernacle of the altar is also typical of the Neapolitan style, and it houses a precious relic of the saint. The statues of the saints Andrea and Gaetano embellish the structure, while above them, between fringes and cutters, appears the oval canvas of San Vito, realized by Oronzo Tiso. Noteworthy is the painting of the Madonna del Rosario, painted in 1597 by Donato Antonio d'Orlando from Nardò today positioned next to the baptismal font.
testimony of the particular religious devotion of Uggiano, the parish church is among the most fascinating 18th century ecclesiastical structures of Terra d'Otranto. The village of Casa Massella is located north of Uggiano La Chiesa. For centuries, the small community has been linked to the name and to the affairs of the Marco family, the last local feudal lords. On the main road of the village, one can admire the Soba Parish Church, dedicated to St. Michael the Archangel, radically modified during the 19th century. Vittorio Emanuele Square is characterized by the monumental feudal palace, an example of the 18th century transformation of a military building into a noble residence. In its structure one notices the traces of its ancient defensive function, as demonstrated by the protective casings and a stone curb placed around the base of the building, and the summit of brackets place along the upper perimeter of the building. In the 18th century the façade was modified to soften its austere forms. It was embellished by a large balcony decorated with a balustrade enriched with floral and anthropomorphic motifs. The palace housed eminent figures of the Salentinian culture, including the economist Antonio De Vigi De Marco and the poet from Lucugnano Girolamo Comi, born in Casa Massella in 1890. Moving along the picturesque Valle del Lidro, known also as Le Padule, one meets some surprising natural beauty, immersed in the fertile countryside which leads to Otranto. From this enchanting vista, one can admire the crypt of Monte Sant'Angelo, an important testimony of Italo-Greek religious culture. Dating back to the 18th century and attributed to Fonseca, the crypt still displays different cycles and layers of frescoes, with many architectural elements typical of the religious structures, which are attributable to the Byzantine religious styles. The municipal administration decided to promote this breathtaking landscape with the development and promotion of different pathways dedicated to cultural and bicycle tourism. in the olive trees, the small church of Santi Medici stands in the heart of the countryside of Uggiano, a representative center of the religious tradition of the town. The building stands in a large churchyard of 400 meters and is constructed above an older structure 
demolished in 1956, but historically documented at the beginning of the 17th century, during the pastoral visit of the Archbishop of Otranto de Morra. The construction of the church was promoted by the Municipal Administration of Uggiano and the Santi Medici Committee, which also bought the surrounding land to better promote its annual fair. In fact, every year, during religious celebrations, the Santi Medici Park hosts an important exhibition of industry and handicrafts at the end of September, which attracts thousands of visitors. In recent years, the Municipal Administration of Ugiano has committed to improving the visitor services of the entire exhibition area, also taking into consideration the needs of families and children, setting up a small playground. <laughs>